Kim Easton. I'm the Communications Director at the Indiana Historical Society, and I'm going to tell you about one of America's most prolific serial killers. Okay. Bell Gunnis was born in Norway in 1859. And she was born to a really poor farm, tenant farm family. When she was a young teenager, she fell in love with a much older man and became pregnant by him. When she told him that she was pregnant in the middle of a public dance, he beat her until she miscarried. People say she was never the same after that. Neither was he, because two days later he died of a mysterious illness. Then, with the help of his sister, she moved to Chicago in 1881 after saving her money. She married a man named Mad Sorensen, and they owned a bakery together. <laughs> Everything went really well. They brought in foster kids and ran their bakery, and then the bakery caught fire, and they got a huge insurance settlement. Light bulb! So Belle tells her husband, hey, I know you have a $3,500 life insurance policy, but you should probably get another bigger $5,000 policy. He dies the one day those policies overlap. So soon some foster kids die. They also have insurance policies. So people start talking. So she buys a farm and moves to Port, Indiana in 1901. She married Peter Gunnis in April of 1902, and he was dead by December. So then she puts an ad in the paper, in all the Chicago dailies, and in some other Midwestern papers, and it says this. Comely widow who owns a large farm in one of the finest districts in LaPorte County, Indiana, desires to make the acquaintance of a gentleman equally well provided, with view of joining fortunes. Oh my god. <laughs> No replies by letter considered unless sender is willing to follow answer with personal visit. Triflers need not apply. When she starts corresponding with these men, she tells them, hey, um, you should probably come visit me and bring all your money and don't tell anyone where you're going. So this goes on for five years. Upwards of 40 men went to her farm and never returned. So people start asking questions. I mean, all these guys are like dead and they start asking questions particularly one family member who was like super persistent and I mean she's pushing 50 by this point I mean not that there's anything wrong with that so what does she do when people start talking she hires a housekeeper who oh my god who has the same like body type as her she, she was like super hardy Norwegian stock so she was like six foot tall, like 200 pounds. So she hires this housekeeper. She cuts off her head, dresses her in her clothes, puts her dentures beside her body, and lights the whole house on fire. So, I mean, that's the story. Authorities decided, determined that the fire was, that she had died in the fire and her children. But there were many bell sightings for decades to come. So, men... If that Tinder profile looks a little too good to be true, and she asks you to bring all your money on the first date, you might be in trouble. Oh my god. That's my makeup. <laughs> <laughs>